Okay, cool. Just want to make sure for anybody who doesn't know the amazing Kate Goldstein, a little bit about Kate. So Kate and I have known each other for a very long time. And one of the things that I find so amazing about Kate is she is forever a student. So she has been in school the last like four or five years that we've been friends and even before that, and she's been studying some really incredible things. She is a coach. She is a somatic therapist and um, she is an EFT practitioner. So she has some beautiful courses online if you wanna learn more about tapping. And of course she takes on private clients if you want to connect with her. What The reason I invited Kate into this program is she's extremely skilled at honoring where we are. Whatever is coming up for us, whatever we're feeling, like truly honoring that and hearing it so it can be released. So I'm so excited, Kate, that you're going to lead us through this tapping session. And I just wanted to give you a little love before you started that. Thanks, Erin. Feel the love. Nice to meet you all if I haven't met you before. And good to see everyone again. Um, so yes, tonight we're going to do an EFT session. So lucky, lucky us. And I'll explain a little bit about what EFT is and um, take just a couple of moments doing that. And as I'm sharing that, um, this is a really good time to create a safe container physically in your space. So whether it's grabbing a blanket or grabbing some water or tea or, you know, closing the curtain or the door, as your needs come up, tend to them. If a dog is coming in or a kid is coming in, you know, don't think you're interrupting anything, you know, like just do your life while we're here and always take care of your needs as you go. Um, so EFT is a emotional freedom technique. Um, it's a somatic psychotherapy, um, you know, Western talk therapy mixed with a Chinese medicine, you know, flavor because it deals with the meridians. It's otherwise known as tapping. And it combines percussion on the body, on the meridians, on different points, which I'll go over with you guys. Um, it pairs that with call and response and some thought experiments, like feel into this. What comes up when you think about that? How are you feeling right now? Okay, feel that a little bit more. In other words, I'm going to be guiding you and asking you to think. And I'm going to be asking you to feel. And everyone has different learning spectrums. And so just know that if it can feel kind of confusing, always just come right back to your heart. In fact, let's all just put our hand on our heart right here, right now. There you are. Right there. So if at any moment you're feeling kind of lost in the script of what we're saying, or like we're building upon something together and you're like, wait, I lost track. I was just off in this, you know, vision that I was having or whatever. Just, um, you can always just come right back to yourself. We're kind of like a double Dutch jump rope. Just kind of come right back in whenever you feel, but don't, don't um, beat yourself up for feeling lost at any point. Because we're all gonna be doing our own separate, you know, EFT taps. And so just to share with, in fact, why don't we right now go ahead and start to massage under the collarbone. Okay, so I'll continue to speak here. And while we're massaging under the collarbone, I'll explain what this is. This is the emotional well of the body. This is kind of where all of your lymphatic dumps into. And we like to massage it because, you know, being the emotional well of the body, um, we want to kind of activate it and wake, up, wake it up a little bit because we're going to be tapping into the emotional body. Um, you can either press here and kind of rub, bring your shoulders back and down or bring them forward. Or if you have some hand strength, you can kind of just massage under here and you'll feel your ribs. And so what we're going to be doing tonight is just tuning into ourselves. And I'll guide us through a tap with the theme of awakening to our divine purpose. And like Aaron was saying, everything and anything that comes up is exactly what is supposed to come up. And we're going to just get started together here. So without further ado, let's start to just kind of relax the arms first, shake them out. Maybe you feel some blood flowing to the wrists and forearms from rubbing on your collarbones. 
Go ahead and just lightly start tapping on the center of the chest and take a couple big deep breaths in. And let it go with a sigh. And Aaron, if you could, I'm gonna have you mute everyone's microphone, except for mine. So if you want to go ahead and do that, we'll take a moment and keep breathing. Ah. Thank you. Let's get some more oxygen in our bodies. Big deep breath in. Ah. One more big deep breath for good measure. Inhaling and exhaling. Ah. And let's start with a phrase together. So repeat after me. Here I am. Here I am. I have arrived at the 5 p.m. <laughs> Jasmine and Juniper call. I'm showing up tonight to try EFT tapping. Beautiful, big deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> let go of the sigh. <sighs> Just know that at any point throughout this process, there might be off gassing, which is like a yawn or a burp or a fart or some kind of shifting. Or if you're an intuitive, you might start to have a psychic reading on someone that's in the room or myself. Just know that that's all off gassing. That just wants to just be released. So let's just honor the body as it kind of off gasses. Big deep breath in. Let go with an audible sigh. <sighs> Repeating after me. I'm showing up for myself tonight. And it really took something to get here. I had a day, but I made it. And so let's just take a couple seconds to acknowledge the day that we had to get here. All the things that you kind of buttoned up to get yourself here. And let those things be buttoned up. Repeating after me, I deeply love and respect myself. In my pursuit of my divine purpose. It's possible that I'll get something really cool from tonight's call. Just go ahead and tune into that sentence there. Just just that tune in, tune into that it's possible that you could get something cool from this call tonight. So tune into your expectations or your hopes. Tune into the possibility. Repeating after me, tonight I'm hoping to get, just say what it is that you're hoping to get. So fill in the blank there, good. Let it bubble up, say it out loud. Let's say it again. What I'm hoping to get from tonight is. I'm open to that or something better. <laughs> it feels good to feel hopeful about my life. Let's go ahead and take both of our hands and we'll tap under the, the ribs kind of right on front of the ribs. Big deep breath in, let it go with a sigh. <sighs> it feels good to feel hopeful about my life. What I'm hoping to get from tonight is, just say what it is. It could be the same thing you just said, it could be different. Repeating after me, what I'm hoping to get from tonight is. And I'll fully receive that or anything better. Tapping on the side of the ribs. So you can do this two ways. You can either kind of do the chicken dance there, or you can kind of cross your arms and you're tapping right where sort of the bra strap might meet the body. Big deep breath in, let it go with a sigh. <sighs> 
let's do another one and really let the oxygen out and kind of drop your body when you do it. <sighs> it feels good to show up here for myself tonight. And I'm ready to awaken to my divine purpose. Let's go ahead and tap the wrists together. I really hope this works for me. But sometimes things don't work out for me. I'm not always hopeful about my future. And I still deeply love and accept myself. Part of me is confused about my life purpose. All this talk about life purpose. <laughs> Tapping on where the thumb nail meets the finger. Oh, here's Erin and her life purpose again. All right, here's the life purpose talk. I don't know what my life purpose is. Sometimes I think it's just taking care of my kids or my dog or myself. So just tune in right now to how if you didn't take care of your body or the people that you are responsible for, that life would stop. Repeating after me, sometimes I think my life purpose is just making sure everyone gets enough food for the day. Sometimes my life purpose is just me drinking enough water that day. Because I want you guys to tune in that if you stop drinking water and eating food, that this would stop. Your life purpose is to sort of stay alive. That's part of it. Repeating after me. I know that I am meant to take care of my body. May I find deep purpose and peace in caring for this body. Tapping on top of the pointer finger right where the nail meets the, the, the hand. Sometimes I'm burned out on taking care of this body. How can I have a life purpose if I can't even get enough water in my system every day? All this talk about a life purpose. It feels so pointless. Big deep breath in, let it go with a sigh. Ha! <sighs> Life purpose conversations feel pointless sometimes. And life purpose conversations feel really profound and important sometimes. I'm open to workshopping, waking up to my life purpose tonight. It would be exciting if I got a glimpse of my life purpose tonight. Tapping on top of the middle finger, I said exciting, but let's actually tune in to, it would be blank, just feel this, it would be blank to tune in to, to get a glimpse of my life purpose tonight. Actually, how would that make you feel? How would that make you feel if you were able to sort of hear that soul voice or ah, really just like get into the pocket of that life purpose or, you know, get feel really complete and satisfied, um, inspired, right? How would it feel? So just feel into what it might feel like to catch a glimpse of your life purpose. How would that make you feel? Maybe it would feel clarifying. Maybe it would feel masterful. Just feel that right now. Maybe you would be in reverence of this 
part of yourself that you tap into tonight, you'd feel like it was a relevant use of your time. So just repeating after me, fill in the blank. It would feel, say how it would feel. Big deep breath into that space right there. And really let it go with a nice sigh. I forgive myself for not having clarity all the time. I deeply love and respect myself. No matter where I'm at. Sometimes I don't respect myself when I'm not clear about my purpose. Just see if you can tune in to some of that resistance to that phrase, I deeply love and accept myself even if I'm not clear about my purpose. Just imagine a day where you are feeling a little listless or kind of just getting by. And then not only is that bad enough, you're kind of beating yourself up or feeling down about yourself. But if you're on purpose, then you feel really proud of yourself. Repeating after me, I'm proud of myself no matter where I'm at. My life is worthy no matter where I'm at. Let that, let that sink in, okay? How did that feel to say? How did it feel to say that? Do you feel the resistance coming up? Repeating after me. I am worthy no matter where I'm at in my life. Feel the unconditional love. And just be honest with yourself about how true that is or not for you right now. Repeating after me, I forgive myself for all this confusion around having a life purpose. Go ahead and tap on the other side of the ring finger. So up on the other side of that ring finger. Good. It would feel really good to get clear about my life purpose tonight. Feel good right now inside that possibility. And just look for a moment. Look at that part of you that wants to still play small and how much easier it is to not look at this conversation. There's effort that has to be had. There's kind of a reaching, like when you smell that blue lotus, it doesn't just hit you in the face. It's like, you know, you're gonna have to go to it. That stretch, that little stretch that we're gonna have to do. Repeating after me. It's okay to not want to look at this tonight. <laughs> I know it's going to take energy and effort. And I'm doing just fine existing how I am. Now, some of you have really tapped into your why and your life purpose, and you're maybe um, you know, have a career that's aligned with it, or you've shared this deep aligned feeling of your um, divine purpose on the planet with other people. And so they are bought into your vision and your, your way that you walk through the world. So maybe some of you aren't really identifying with just kind of getting by, but I know that for me, even though I do have that level of alignment in my life, there's, we forget, we are forgetting and remembering creatures and that's totally okay. When we forget, we are worthy of love and respect. And we still are worthy of completely caring for ourselves with pride and with purpose. Tapping on top of the pinky, relaxing the arms right into your lap if you want. So you can release those elbows. Big, deep breath as you continue to tap on the top of the pinky, releasing a sigh. Ha! <sighs> I forgive myself for those days that I play small. 
I deeply love and accept myself. And it's safe to look at my purpose tonight. I want you to actually tune into other times that you've looked into your why or your purpose or your sort of divine calling on the planet and what always seems to happen. Let's almost take the persona of Oscar the Grouch right now or like Eeyore. <laughs> I might be dating myself here, but just a, it's kind of a depressive voice. What always happens? Okay, so repeating after me. When I start to live my highest purpose, what always happens is, and just let that, let that story bubble up. It never works out when I try. Creating a vision is for dreamers. I sometimes try and then I fail. It's safer to play it small. People will think I have an ego. It would take too much time and money and I don't have that. I don't have the right contacts to do it. Big deep breath into that depressive space. Exhale, an audible sigh. <sighs> Repeating after me, it's possible if I look at this tonight, I can clear this. Tapping on the forehead with both hands. It's possible if I look at this, I can understand it more. I'm open to looking at my vision for my life right now. Tapping on the side of the face. I'm open to looking at the vision for my life. So go ahead and hold that vision right now. What you're meant to do here. As simple or complex as you have come up with so far. If someone asks you, what's your purpose on the planet? Just say in your head right now what you always say. My purpose is, say what it is. Tapping on the front of the face, right under the eyes. Big deep breath in, let it go. <sighs> I've always known that my purpose is. Just keep letting it bubble up, say whatever you want right here. I've always known that part of my purpose is keep going. I'm enjoying creating this vision right now. Part of my purpose on this planet is, and it feels really good to remember that. Tapping underneath the nose with one hand. It feels really good to remember that. So just tune in right now to where you're at with that. Do you feel like it needs workshopping? Do you know that it's a little bit of um, playing small? Do you feel like it's too big? Do you think that it would feel really good to share that right now? Are you open to more? Does it feel like it just needs to be embodied? What's the sensation that's coming along? Yeah. Tapping underneath the mouth. I know that part of my purpose is, and just say again or new what it is, something new, keep adding to it. It feels really good to remember that but it also feels like a beautiful burden. Feel the burden of it. Yeah, repeating after me, this is really important to me. And I wanna do it right. And I don't wanna fail. And I don't wanna forget this. And I don't wanna mess this up. 
What if I miss my chance? Repeating after me, part of my purpose of being alive is, just say again what it is. And I'm ready to move to the next level. Let's go ahead and all put one hand over our heart. And if we can, reach for your blue lotus right now. If you have it nearby, and if you don't, get up and grab it. Take the time to get up and grab your blue lotus. And if you don't have it, grab whatever oil is calling to you, magnolia, serenity. How lucky are we to have this? Go ahead and just place this underneath your nose right now. And I want you to tune into the fact that this blue lotus was a plant that was alive at one point. These plants made their way into our bottles. Aaron has a different plant than I do. They had roots in the earth. Just consider that the purpose of your blue lotus bottle was to awaken you to your divine purpose. The plants that made their way into your bottle that you're smelling right now, their purpose is you. Go ahead and commune with that plant right now. And maybe part of your purpose is to help raise someone else up to know their purpose. Go ahead and anoint this oil on your body in your favorite way that you've ever done it. Big triangle on the forehead, the throat chakra, palms of the hands. Let's go ahead and just anoint ourselves. Take some really big, deep breaths into this oil here. As you inhale, repeat after me. It's possible that if I listen, I'll know the next step. Part of my purpose is to feel good about myself. Please consider that your purpose is going to feel really good. Please consider that if you feel good about something, that that is your purpose. What a concept that we are meant to feel good. And that if we keep doing that, which feels good, it is in alignment with our purpose on the planet. Our purpose is not meant to be hard, difficult, painful. Repeating after me, I'm going to continue to move towards that which feels good. And go ahead and think of this awakening process. Repeating after me, it's possible that if I listen, I'll know the next step. Go ahead and place one hand over your heart and one hand over that hand and just hold yourself. Repeating after me, it feels good to feel good. It feels really good to feel good. I deeply love and accept myself. I'm ready to awaken. I'm ready to awaken in love with myself. I'm ready for a purpose that feels really good. And releasing the rest. And take a moment and as your hands are on your heart, and you're staying totally committed to yourself. You got your own back here. Go ahead and just let go of anything about your purpose that isn't feeling good. All that stuff can go. Nothing's going to happen. Releasing, releasing, releasing. It feels good to feel good.
I thought it was supposed to be so much harder than this. But I'm about to flip this purpose conversation on its head. I'm about to change this whole conversation around purpose. And this divine awakening, it's nothing like I thought it was going to look. It is so easy. I just have to follow my bliss and my euphoria. Let's go ahead and continue just tapping on the center of the chest. Just enjoy that percussive tapping on the center of the on the chest and take in a couple big deep breaths right here. Hi, and if you want, you can open your eyes and you can look right at me. And I'm here to sort of just co-regulate you. Hi, welcome back. Mm. <laughs> Let's just be here for a moment, back in our bodies. <sighs> we all just anointed with blue lotus. Picture the roots going into the mud. We're kind of peeling back the petals. But just picture your toes in the mud right now and just stay here for a moment. Feel into your body, some sensations. Do some adjusting if you want. Take a big couple cleansing breaths here. <sighs> Tune into how you're feeling about this so far. How's it sitting with you? See if you can think about how you felt starting this tap tonight and kind of where you're at now. And just repeat after me. I can accept how this is going for me so far. Here I am. I'm still here. And I'm in the perfect place. And I forgive myself if it looks totally different than my expectations. I forgive myself for it all. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and actually start tapping on the front of the ribs again, but let's do alternate tapping. Alternate tapping. I'm gonna go right, left, right, left. And see if you can do a little shimmy, just kind of get into your body, watch Kayla Rose if you want and Aaron, and who's just kind of like, let it all hang out. Truly, open your jaw, just kind of, <sighs> you guys, you're the only one in there. You're the only one in there, have you noticed? So just do it for you, <laughs> okay? You're the only one in there. <laughs> no one else is doing it for you. No one else can shimmy your shoulders for you. Yeah, just enjoy this embodiment here. Enjoy this embodiment. And we're gonna flip it upside down. Life purpose, meant to be easy, meant to feel good, so simple. Forgiving yourself for how it looks. Let it unfold. It's, it's possible that if you listen, you'll know the next step. You know, forgiving yourself for how it's all showing up for you. Sometimes our purpose is just to keep ourselves and other people alive. Sometimes we forget our big purpose. Ah, we forgive it all. We forgive it all. Let's just flip it on its head. Life purpose, easy. Blossoming into a beautiful lotus flower, easiest thing you've ever done. What's true in the ordinary world is flipped on its head in the extraordinary world of dreams and the heroic life of magic and miracles. In the ordinary life, it's instinctual to run from things that scare you. But when you face those fears in a dream, you increase your personal power. True, yes. When you face your fears and you face challenges, it increases your personal power. Bless you. In dreams, the tragedy of fire and flood and destruction can symbolize rapid change and new birth. If you get stuck in black and white thinking, all you have to do is flip yourself upside down to see a world from a dream's perspective. The same could be said for having a purpose on, on the planet. Society doesn't, isn't set up for us to have a purpose. So by living consciously with a purpose, we're kind of flipping society on its head, aren't we? You're in a marriage, you're a mom, you're a wife, you're a business person. You have a purpose, what? That interrupts the whole 
system. We're flipping this thing on its head. No matter how rigid the belief or experience, it's just waiting for you to turn it around. When you have a purpose, comments and thoughts like it's all their fault. When you have a purpose, it becomes it's all my responsibility. Or I'm not loved. When you have a purpose, it transforms into I am loved more than I could ever perceive. Let's tune in right now. Tapping on the side of the ribs, tuning in right now. So that this life purpose can transform some of the darkest stuff that you have going on in your life right now. Some of the oldest generational traumas. Those things you struggle with that you thought you were going to go to your grave with. Your life purpose can flip that on its head. Tapping the wrists together. Big deep breath in. <sighs> and I want you to tune into something you've been struggling with in your life. Repeating after me. Lately, I've been struggling with, and just say what it is you've been struggling with. And that's really been hard. Tapping on top of the other thumb that we haven't tapped on yet, tapping on top of the thumb. I've been struggling with, say what it is out loud. Yeah. And it's been making me feel, tune in. If the feeling is happy, sad, angry, scared, just consider that it might be more nuanced. You know, I feel left out. I feel targeted. I feel betrayal. I feel undermined. Specific, get specific. Okay. Tapping on top of the pointer finger. Let's just take some time here. We're not going to go anywhere. I've been struggling with, just say again what you've been struggling with, what the situation is. And anyone would struggle with this. You should see what happened. You should see what I'm dealing with. Anyone would feel what? Repeating after me, it's understandable that I feel that way. It's totally valid that I feel this way. Big, deep breath into your body. Really let out a loud sigh. Ha! Another big, deep breath in. What if this loud exhale could release it? Big, deep breath in. Ha! I forgive myself for struggling with this. I forgive myself for not knowing how to handle this challenge. It's been making me think say what kind of thoughts you've been having about life life is how is it it's been making me think what what's that limiting thought that it has created tapping on top of the middle finger and it's possible if i look at this right now i can release it it's possible that it'll feel really good to transform this area of my life right now But part of me thinks there's no way we can transform this in the next five minutes. <laughs> you should have seen what happened. Think about what happened. So it's possible that what's been happening and what you've been struggling with, maybe there was a moment that was um, that happened. Like you were in a situation and where this where this something happened, something it all came to a head. See if you can picture the worst part, what was the hardest part to think back on and remember? Just pick, pick one moment, repeating after me out loud, it's safe to access this memory right now. And I really don't wanna look at it, but it's here anyway. It's following me around. So just like Blue Lotus, I'm going to go to it. 
let's meet it halfway and just go ahead and think of that worst kind of moment, repeating out loud with me here. And the worst part is, just say what the worst part is. Yeah. What happened was, and just like a movie, tell me what happened out loud. What happened was, just say what happened. Mm hmm Yeah. And that's been really hard. Tapping on the other side of the ring finger, big deep breath in, let it go with a sigh. <sighs> you should have seen what happened. I was there. And then who else was there? And where were you? And then what happened next was, just say what happened next. Repeating after me. And I've been struggling ever since. I deeply love and accept myself, even though I went through this. And I forgive myself for not knowing how to let it go. What I want you to do right now is picture yourself in that moment, that soul rupture moment. Tapping on the inside of the pinky, stay with this vision. Picture that moment. And I want you in the corner of the frame of your vision, someone walks in the room. It's your higher self. You, dressed as you are right now, in this current moment, you go back. Show up for yourself and walk right up to yourself in that struggle. I want you to walk right up to yourself and you look square into your eyes and tune in to what it is you looked like as you were in this struggle, right when this limiting belief started forming, this challenge that's been hard to overcome, this thing that you've not wanted to look at. You're there with you now. And I want you to take a moment and embrace yourself. You scoop yourself up into the biggest hug. And you regulate with yourself right now. There's always time to regulate with yourself before we do anything else. We're going to go ahead and tap on the forehead. Stay with this vision. And you're in the most warm, loving, knowing, safe embrace of your life where these two worlds collide. Keep the breath moving through your system as you enjoy this embrace. And I want you to pull back and look right into the eyes of you and just tune in to what it is you needed in that moment that you didn't get. Tapping on the side of your face, releasing your shoulders, just looking right into your own eyes in this moment of soul rupture, repeating out loud after me, all I needed was, and just start to kick around a few ideas of what would have been really nice to have in that moment. All I needed was to be removed from that situation. All I needed was for someone to tell me this is not how it has to be. I needed someone to advocate for me. I needed someone to, I needed them to do what? I needed myself to do what? Repeating after me, all I really needed was tapping on the front of the face and I didn't get it in that moment. Stay with it. Stay here. Repeating after me, all I needed was and I didn't get it, but I really, really wanted it. I can forgive myself and all who are involved. It doesn't mean I agree with what happened because I don't agree with what happened. But I can forgive because it will give me my life energy back. All I really needed in that moment was And I'm worthy of receiving that. 
Say what you needed. I'm worthy of and say what it is that you didn't get. Tapping underneath the nose. I'm worthy of. And I always have been. Tapping underneath the mouth. I forgive myself for not getting what I needed. I'm ready to get my life force energy back. It would feel really good to have all parts of me back. And I'm ready to heal this moment. I want you to go ahead and tap on the center of your chest. Picture yourself now in that space where you didn't get what you needed. And what happens next is your crown chakra begins to just light up. And your higher self comes in through the form of energy trickling down into your body with a message for you. All I needed to hear was, and just let the message come in. What is it? that wants to be communicated to you from your higher self right now. What kind of message would solidify your awakening tonight? What kind of clarification can you receive for no reason right now? just because feel clarification right now out loud all i needed to hear was and i'm receiving it right now i passed the test i made the grade it's done I signed up for this and I got it and it feels really good. Go ahead and put one hand over the heart. Enjoy this light that's wanting to trickle down from your crown chakra. And this light is charging every cell of your body with the message. I'm worthy to receive what? What did you receive? Let it charge every cell of your body with this gift of clarification. Feel what it feels like to pass the test with flying colors right now. Just feel that sensation of completion, satisfaction right now. Repeating after me out loud, I forgive myself for thinking I needed to do something to be worthy of this level of satisfaction. My heart is open. like a thousand petal lotus continually unfolding whatever you are feeling right now i just want you to imagine bottling up and putting into that bottle of blue lotus if you have it go ahead and put it in the center of your hands right now charge that bottle of blue lotus every molecule of this oil with the message you received. You know how they say, if you could bottle this feeling, I'd have a million dollars. Well, we're bottling that feeling that we have right now. This feeling of satisfaction for no reason. Clarification with nothing in mind. Forgiveness for thinking we needed to try so hard.
think of one or two things that you got from this tonight. It could be in the phrase of like, I really got that, or I really understand now that what. And if you want, you can type it into the chat so you can slowly kind of come back to this. I keep wanting to say this Zoom room, but this be connected space. Keep coming back slowly. Ah, keep moving that air through your lungs. As you come back and you maybe chat through what it is you kind of woke up to, what you remembered, what you were worthy of, all I needed to hear was, I just want to personally thank you for your time and your, your efforts and your unfolding that you put into yourself tonight. And it was such a pleasure to see all of you really go deep. And I'm just in awe of you all. And I can't wait to hear how that was for you and what kind of takeaways you have. So just the deepest bow to all of you beautiful lotuses. <laughs> and I'm just gonna read a few of these. Aaron, I really got that I do not have to do anything, be anything to gain my worth. I am wanted. I am not alone. I got this is a time to reconnect to my higher self, but right now it's unsafe and that's okay. It's time to focus on loving, on loving self only. Yes. Nice. Way to not, and you know, Jen, they always say, not they always, the uh, Buddhist monks say the, the first arrow always hits. The first arrow always hits. You have a thought and it's painful and that first arrow is always going to hit, but that second arrow of beating ourselves up for it or resisting it doesn't have to hit, but that first arrow is always going to hit. So yes, I like how you said it's not safe and that's okay. It's not like it's unsafe and that's not okay. Something's wrong. You know, that would be two arrows hitting our response to it. So yeah, the first arrow always hits and good job on um, having the consciousness to be fully accepting of your space and yeah, awakening to our divine purpose. Things that are unsafe tend to fall away pretty fast. Things and people who are unsafe and spaces, they they fall away fast. May they fall away fast. A deep, deep peace that I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm supposed to be where I'm exactly where I am supposed to be. I also like just the phrase, the standalone phrase, I am supposed to be. <laughs> that works too. Danny says, be still. I'm where I need to be. And I got them. And then Lori says, I got that I'm always supported and don't need doing everything alone. So such a good reminder that it's like, imagine, you know, imagine a lotus flower as a bud. And we're like, we're these humans and we're so complex and we're trying to like awaken to our divine purpose. And we think we need to just go over here and do that or go over here and do that. When really it's just like, it's, we are it. We are it already. We just are it. We just don't need to go anywhere or be anything else other than what we are. And I just want to share that, yes, sometimes it feels like an onion and it feels like there's unlimited layers of the onion. And I want to promise each of you, if some of you are here and you actually have been struggling with something deep in your life and you came to this 21 day challenge feeling like you're not in a really good place, I promise there are not unlimited layers of the onion. I promise. Keep peeling them back. There's not unlimited layers of the onion. Keep going. Because you'll find that there's a lotus flower in there, which has unlimited petals. It was such a deep, lovely evening with you all. Thank you so much. And Aaron, you can take it away from here if you want to open it up for questions or if we want to wrap up. It's up to you. Thanks, Kate. We will wrap up to honor everyone's time. Um, I want to just throw this up here if you want to connect oh it didn't work like i wanted it to um if you want to connect with kate i just want you to know that she has a really great website and all kinds of courses and you can get a private session with her what i was thinking while this was going on was like oh my god like i need this every week you know mm. um so there it is you can go check out her website um, and it's so beautiful. She's got lots of good 
stuff there. So you can grab that. And next week, we are going to have Kayla taking us through some somatic practices. So just you're starting to see a theme here, which is important. And it is, you know, if you want to awaken to your divine purpose, you have to be able to regulate. You have to be able to get your nervous system to that place of regulation. And that's part of what we're feeling right now, that like gooey, gooey feeling where I was mm -hmm. yawning a million times and I want to like go take a nap or cuddle with my kids. We're meant to be there like most of the day <laughs> with short bursts of energy and inspiration. So I'm so excited for next week and I'm so appreciative to you, Kate, because that was such a beautiful experience. If anyone feels called, please go share, you know, a little something in the um, Facebook group and just tell us what this has been feeling for you. Um, I'd love to read it and I'm sure other people would love to read it. So keep anointing, keep doing your Blue Lotus, and we'll see you back here next Friday. Bye, everybody. Good job tonight, ladies. Bye.